Um, so, just want to say hi. Um, anybody new? Hi, welcome to the channel. Um, so, what is this video about today? This video is actually spawned from a couple of questions I got asked from a previous video about um, tuning and um, for the Genesis Coupe and things like that as far as what this person should do. And I decided to make this video because um, one of the other subscribers, um, he was already, he's already looking, I think he already purchased the turbo kit, he's already purchasing a turbo kit, um, didn't tell me which one for his Genesis Coupe, and he was asking me questions about heat wrap, and you know, you know, I, I needed to ask him more questions about what he planned on doing, and what turbo kit he was using, and things like that, unfortunately I never got the answer. But I wanted to make this video to hopefully help him and others like him out as far as just tuning and um, tuning and just what you're going to do um, in general if you don't have the car tuned properly. So um, here we go. All right, guys. So, um, you know, one of the questions uh, that was asked, and I, it, this is really where it has to the tuning part has to come in, um, comes into play here, and it's very important. So he was telling me that he um, was purchasing a, pur purchasing a turbo, a relatively inexpensive turbo kit, um, and that he was planning on using, buying a tune from um, I think SFR. Um, and no, this isn't an SFR bashing video or a BTR pumping it up video or whatever. This is just what I was told. So he's buying a tuned ECU. He's thinking about using a tuned ECU from SFR with the turbo that he bought. Um, and judging from what he was saying, it's a pre-tuned ECU, which means you send off your uh, ECU. Um, they program it to do certain to do certain things, push certain amount, push a certain amount of fuel into the motor. You know, obviously air fuel ratios, all that other stuff, boost things like that. Um, but what I don't think he realizes is um, he that that tune, and this goes for BTR as well. Um, that tune is preset for certain a certain setup that they have already determined. Um, for example, for example, um, I with and i'm pretty sure it's the same with sfr but i'm saying btr because that's the ecu that i i'm using right now um btr wanted said that for me to use the tune that they had i needed the uh i needed a bigger intercooler um i needed i i don't think they said i needed an air intake but i could have sworn that was one of them i'm not absolutely sure um they also said i needed the three inch O2 housing and the uh, three inch uh, downpipe. With all that I just pointed out, if I had said, if I had had all that, okay, and put in this, the Evo 9 um, turbo with the ISR stuff that'll be going in the car soon, I had a serious issue. And that serious issue was this BTR tune and same with SFR, um, is when it's preset or pre-tuned, it's pre-tuned for, sorry, my turbo's so small, for my turbo here, for the Genesis Coupe Turbo. Um, and if I had, you know, did what they said and then put in the Evo 9 uh, Turbo, um, the problem is, is the ECU is telling um, is being told to pump this amount of fuel, push this amount of bu uh, boost, and so on and so forth using the stock turbo. If the Evo 9 turbo is in there, and I'm saying right now I think I'm at 20, 22 pounds of boost right now with the stock turbo. And trust me, it's efficient with this car. It works. It's great. But anyway, um, I'm at that amount of boost with this turbo. Now, if I had the other turbo in... I'd be pushing the same amount of boost, but because it's a bigger turbo, um, I'm pushing in more air and things like that. And because the 
EC because the ECU thinks I'm on. I thought I'd be on a stock turbo. Um, it's gonna push the same amount of fuel as that as um. Yeah, it's gonna push the same amount of fuel that the thinking that's a stock turbo, even though the fuel's increased and things like that. Um, the problem is, is that could cause cause des uh, destination. Wow, I'm tired. Detonation, um, which eventually, you know, and bang goes the dynamite. Your motor is done. Um, so here's your solution, um, or the solution. Um, if since you're going to be putting on, and I'm talking to, to that subscri subscriber, um, since you're going to be putting on obviously an aftermarket turbo kit and things like that, you have three options. And option option one and two is either um, go to SFR or BTR, a tuning event, and have the car tuned with your mods that you have and that bigger turbo and things like that. Um, now I'm not absolutely sure if they can do that with um, the stock ECU or you're going to have to basically do option three um, or two in this case, whatever, which is get the Hall Tech um, or um, AEM ECUs and have that, have that tuned, have those tuned um, properly, which for me, I'm going to basically be going to the Hall Tech um, because of the upgrades that I'm doing, obviously, with the Evo 9 Turbo um, and things like that and the ISR Evo 9 Turbo conversion kit. Oh, but anyway, the other option that you could do is I checked SFR and I don't see this being offered, but I do know with BTR, if you're going to, if you want a bigger turbo and things like that, they actually have um, turbo kits that they can tune with their ECU and things like that. Um, so definitely check that out. Again, I'm not knocking SFR or anything like that. If you happen to live um, live close to um, SFR, SFR, then I would suggest, and you want the SFR ECU, I would suggest going to SFR and having them tune your car properly and things like that. And I'm sure they, they have their ways and they've been around for a while and things like that. So um, definitely check them out. If you live closer to BTR and you want it, want, want it tuned, have them tune it. But again, you can... I do know that BTR have has turbo packages for their ECU and certain bigger turbos and things like that. So that's something else. To, you know, that's something else to look at. Um, so I know this. I know that was kind of quick and kind of fast, but you know, do your research. Um, make sure that if you're going to get an aftermarket turbo kit, that you know exactly what you're going to use the tune. Um, and also, just try to figure out what other parts you're going to need because you know obviously like for me with that bigger turbo i'm going to need larger injectors and all that other stuff and from the reason why i'm using the hall tech is because um btr is in chicago i live in connecticut sfr is in new jersey which is i think it's only about an hour and a half away from me there where they're located um but i don't want to drive the car once I have the turbo, the new stuff in and things like that. So I don't want to really have to drive it down there. Um, I do have somebody who can tune the hall tech and things like that. Um, they are a um, licensed tuning center or whatever you want to call it. But um, um, And I know he's normally used to um, tuning GTRs and things like that. But I'm absolutely, um, and Hondas, but I'm absolutely um, confident in his skills. So he'll be tuning this as well. Um, stay tuned as well for the upcoming video where I basically discuss what exactly I have done so far, um, what's waiting to go in the car, because there's a lot waiting to go in the car, um, and what I still need to buy. So I will do that video probably next time and things like that. Um, let me know what you guys think about this video. Definitely comment. Let me. Um, I want to know if you guys... Um, you know you guys who've t had stuff tuned and things like that your experiences and what else people should know um you know share comment subscribe like um yeah i don't know this is um this is this is definitely a fun car just and cars in general 
Um, but just make sure again that you're doing stuff properly and things like that so you don't spend more money after you've blown the motor. Hey guys, so I'm, I, I just, before I end the video, I just, I just I think it's kind of hilarious. My neighbor, I think she named her, well, uh, I don't know if you heard it. Um, my neighbor just said, Genesis, get over here. I honestly think my neighbor named her child after my car. I swear to God, I am not joking. His name is Genesis. It's kind of funny. Um, so anyway, um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, and what am I for? Oh, I'm not forgetting. You don't have to be great to get started. You just have to get started to be great. Peace.